In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this motion graphics effect in DaVinci Resolve. You can also go ahead and download this template if you want to quickly access it. So I have a link in the description where you can go ahead and download this template, which I'm going to be making in this video. So if you want to just simply access the template, you can just go ahead and download it from here, in, which is given in the link in the description. Or you can follow along the tutorial where I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. First thing you need to do is download these images, which I have linked in the description. So you can go ahead and download it from the link in the description. But you can also go ahead and use your own images as well. So now let's go ahead and create a fusion composition. Let's head over to the composition and add a background. Now for the background color, just go ahead and change the red all the way to one and go ahead and change the blue to 0 0.3. So you will get this color, which we're going to be using as our background. Now the next thing we need to add is a text. So just go ahead and add a text and connect it with the background. Now you can go ahead and type in anything, but I'm just going to type in style and change the font to Nimbus. So this is the font that I'm using. You can go ahead and download this font if you want to, or you can also use any other font, which will work just fine. So just make sure that the font is a bit bold. So let's change the size all the way to 0 0.3 and change the tracking to 1.1 or let's go with 1.2. So just change the tracking to 1.2 and of course this will depend on the text. So just make sure that this text covers the width but not too much. So just make sure that it is looking nice and it covers the whole screen now go over to shading and over here just simply select this appearance to this so this will give you a hollow effect and change the thickness to 0 0.01 so this will look much better and now what you can do is just move it a bit down and go ahead make sure that your text is selected and you can press ctrl shift and this will open up this effects panel and you can search for duplicate so once you have that this will automatically add under the text and here what you can do is change the y-axis so that and before you do that make sure that you have this set at three copies so make sure that this is at three copies and now change the y-axis so that this uh, appears like this and now go over to merge and here you can move this a bit down so that this covers the whole screen. Now of course you can also move the text down so that this is visible. And we can zoom out to see that it is visible and it is covering the whole screen. So just make sure that that is the case. And once we're done with that, we have our basic layout. Okay, so the next thing we need to add is another background. And let's go ahead and also add a polygon tool. Connect the polygon tool with the background. And what you can do now is you can simply create shapes. So we can just simply create a shape like this. You can go ahead and make any type of shape that you want. Just make sure that this is a line which has some curve in it. And just go ahead and change the border width to 0 0.1 or just make sure that this is visible enough and now connect your background with the merge and you can also change the color of the background to white and now let's go ahead and reduce the size a bit so let's keep this at 0 0.07 and go over to merge to this time change the blend to 0 0.3. So you will see that we get this nice looking effect in the background. Now you can drag your image and connect it with the merge. 
So you will see that we have an image over here. Of course, you can add in any image that you want, but this is the image that is also available from the link in the description. You can download it from there. Now let's go ahead and add a transform node and make sure that this is connected with the median and the merge. So our basic layout has been set. What we need to do next is to do some animation as some keyframes. So let's first of all animate this image. So select your transform and go over to 10 or you can go over to 5. It's up to you how much animation that you want. I'm just going to go over at 10 and select your transform, create a keyframe at center. Now go over at 0 and just make it a bit up. So this will just give us a nice looking effect. And just go over to spline and change the keyframes. Select the keyframe then hit S and this will ease in. So if you play this now, we will get this smooth effect, which is not much, but this will just add a little bit effect to our overall animation. And now what we can do is we can animate the background as well. So let's go over to our text and let's go over at 15 and here go over to the text panel and create a keyframe at tracking. I'll go over to zero and change the tracking. Go something like 0 0.9. And if you play this now, you'll see that we get a nice looking effect. And we can go over to spline once again. Just make sure we only have the text selected. And let's go ahead, select the keyframes and hit S once again. And this time I'm just simply going to select this one keyframe and just move it a little bit. So here you will see we get a nice looking text animation as well. And we can also animate the line that we created. So it is very simple. Just go ahead, select your polygon tool, go over at 10, or let's go over at 20 or 25, and select a keyframe at length. So make sure this is at 1, and let's go all the way to 10 and set the keyframe to 0. So now, if you play this, you'll see that we get a nice looking animation. Now, in order to add a transition, what we need to do is go over at 50. And first of all, let's go ahead and animate this line once again. So select your polygon tool and create a keyframe at position. And let's go over at 60 and change the position to 1. And this will move this out. Okay, so once that is out of the way, what we can do is add a transform node over here. And let's go ahead and change the animation. Let's set a keyframe at 55 in the center. And let's go over to 65 and, and move this out of the screen. And let's go over to settings and select motion blur. And also go ahead and set this to 7. And let's go ahead at somewhere around here so we can see how it is changing. And just reduce the shutter angle to something like 60. But this is up to you. If This is up to you how, what kind of an effect that you want. You can set it according to how you want this to look. But this is how this will look. In this case, and if you can see that we have this animation taking some time, what you can do is go over to transform, go over to spline, make sure all the other keyframes are unselected, and just select your transform node. And what we need to do here is just simply go ahead, select the center, select these keyframes, and just move them. Now, of course, there is a bit problem that we are selecting some other keyframes, so make sure that all the rest of the keyframes are unselected. Just make sure that this transform is selected, and what you can do here is 
go ahead, select this first key train and move it to 60. All right, so now let's see. This looks much better. And what we can do here is select the keyframes and spline once again and hit S on your keyboard. All right, so once this is out of the way, what we need to do is add another background, which of course will be the same as the one we have previously. So just go ahead and copy this background, it's unselected or select anywhere on your nodes, hit Control V and then connect it with the transform. But this time we need to make sure that this is out of the screen as well. So let's go over at 60, select the merge, or what you can do is add a transform and select, or what you can do is go over to 65 where this transform is moving out of the screen. So just go ahead to this transform, which is our new background and select the keyframe at center. Now go over to 60 and just move this out of this. So if we play this now, and you will see that we get this space over here. So in order to change that, go back to spline, unselect the rest of your transforms, only select the transform for this new background and hit S. Now, one other thing that you need to do is select this last keyframe and move this a bit in. So this will cover up the rest of the frame. And if we play this, you will see that this is how it will look. So now that we have this animation done, we have this transition done, you can see that this background line, which is going over here, let's go ahead and add this over to this side as well. So what we can do is go ahead and add another background, set this to white. And let's add a polygon once again. And this time we will make sure that we have the same settings as we were before. So the border width has to be 0 0.07. So let's go ahead and change this to 0 0.07 connected with the background and let's go ahead and see where this was ending. So it was ending over here. We will start from here as well. So let's go ahead, start from here. Do something like this. And let's connect it with the work. So this is how it will look. Once again, let's go ahead and change the blend to 0 0.3. And this time at 18, let's go ahead and set the keyframe in the polygon over at length. And let's go to 70 and change it back to 0. We can play this now. This is how it will look. And now we can also add another text. So connect it with the merge and this time you can write any other thing. I'm going to just simply write friend over here and once again use the same form which was Nimbus Sans and change the size to fit the stick. So let's go ahead with 0 0.3, change the tracking a bit and once again I'm going to do the same settings that I did for the first text. Now this time I'm going to make it a bit different. So once we have this animation in, let's go over at 70 or let's go over at 75 and create a keyframe over here in the text section. And let's move one keyframe behind and remove this D. Then once again, move a keyframe behind and move this N. Go a keyframe back, move E. Then go a keyframe back, remove R. And once again, go to 70, another keyframe back and remove the D. And if you play this now, this is how it will look. So this is the kind of effect that you will get by doing this. And now let's select our text and go over at H anchor. And here let's right click and select modify width. 
and then go over and select Canon Curves. So now you can go over to the Modifiers tab and here you can select Keep the Source as Transition. So this will give you a different effect, animation effect overall. And from here, what you can do is simply select the easing. So this will give you an animation of easing. So you don't manually have to do that with the keyframing. You can simply go ahead and do it over here. So let's select the in as elastic and let's go over to the out and select it as back. So if you play this now. You will see that this is how it will look. But let's go ahead and select mirror. What this will do is this will move this animation or this text over to the right side. So if you play this once again. So over here, you can see that this moves in. And what we can do here is add another effect, which will be. So let's go over at. Right before 105, we'll select and let's keep this over here. Go back to your tools for the text and go over to the shading and in the appearance, we need a keyframe and then at 105, right where this animation is ending, just go ahead and select this as this outline and set the thickness once again to 0 0.01. So here you can see a very nice looking effect. And now you can simply drag in your other image or any other image that you have and just simply add it over here. And now let's go ahead and add a transform mode with this image for this image. And let's go over to where our animation is ending. So let's go over at 18. And over here, go to this transform node, select a keyframe in center, and let's go over to, let's say, 70, and move this out of the screen. Let's go back to spline and select this node. So make sure everything else is unselected. And let's select our transform 4, hit S, and select this first keyframe, move this in a bit. And then the last one also will be seen a bit. So now let's see how this looks. So there you have it. This is how you can create this kind of an animation, motion graphics animation effect in DaVinci Resolve using Fusion. I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.